uh, surface area here and we're looking at finding the surface area of cubes and rectangular prisms. Now remember our last video, a cube um, is just six shapes, six squares. So in order for us to find the surface area of this cube, we're going to use this formula. Um, I showed you a formula in the last video, but this one's much better. Um, we're going to use six times side squared. Okay, so in this particular example, it's going to be six times five squared. So five squared finds us one square, so like this front square here, and then multiplying it by six gives us all six. So that's going to be 6 times 25, which is going to be 150. Now make sure you get your units right here. It's 150 centimetres squared. We're finding surface area. This isn't volume where we were doing cubed. Okay, so that's uh, the surface area of a cube. It's just, as I said, 6 squares. Find the area of 1 square and multiply it by 6. Okay, the uh, rectangular prism, though, is what I wanted to focus on because it's a much harder question. It's a much harder question because if you were, uh, as I explained before, there's actually three different rectangles here. The, the purple ones here, you can see, the blue ones there, and the yellow ones on the end. So we need to do each of those in turn. Uh, so you can see that we're going to have two, one on either end, that is three by four. Now we're going to have two of those. So two... We're going to have two three by fours. We're going to have two of these ones here. Now that's eight long and three high. And we're also going to have two of those. And finally, the bottom and the top. Let's change colour here. The top. Uh, that's going to be eight long again eight long but it's going to be four wide and we're going to have two of those um might seem a little confusing uh but we'll we'll come up with a way to make it a little bit easier now the way that i like to do uh this is to say two times well actually i'll show you the real way Okay, so what I'm going to do is create a triangle, 3 by 4 by 8. And then what I'm going to do is multiply this by this and multiply it by 2. So 2 times 3 times 4. So that's our 2, that's these ones here, 2 3 by 4s. And then... I'm going to multiply these two, and I'm going to do two of them. So I did two of these, I'm going to do two of these. So add 2 by 4 by 8. And then, oops, and then I'm going to do these ones. So add 2 by 3 by Eight. After that, it's really just a matter of getting that all into your calculator and coming up with an answer. So 2 times 3 is 6 times 4 is 24. Plus 2 times 4 times 8. 4 times 8 is uh, 32. Times 2 is 64. Plus 2 times 3 is 6. Times 8 is 48. Okay. Now you type all of that into your calculator and you should get an answer of 136. Now remember that's centimetres squared. Okay, so that's a surface area. We've just found the surface area of a rectangular prism and a cube using two different formulas here. Uh, you can think of it, you, with the rectangular prism in particular, you can think of it as two rectangles like this, two rectangles like this, or two rectangles like this. Or you can use this funny little triangle method to come up with this formula.